Hello friends, this is Rupesh and I'm watching CVP Nuts video series on C++ threading series and this video is about condition variable and this is very important topic if you want to synchronize your threads on some conditions this is the answer for you. So the important point for condition variable is condition variable are used for two purpose. One is notify other threads. Uh, there is thread 1. It is running and there is thread 2. This is also running. At some point, this went for sleeping on some condition variable. I'll explain everything, just hold for some time. I just want to give you a bigger picture of the problem, then we can go much more deeper. So, assume that this thread was sleeping and this thread was working. Now, after doing some job, now this thread wants to tell to this thread that please wake up. So this is called notify and there are two ways you can notify notify one and notify all. So notify one means, okay, let's suppose there are so many threads. So if you're using notify one and this thread is notifying and let's suppose T2, T3, T4 till Tn were waiting for some condition variable and you are notifying one using T1. I'll repeat this again, T1 was running, T2, T3, T4 were sleeping on some condition variable. Now T1 can notify either of this or all of them. So if it is notify 1, I mean if T1 is notifying using 1, then either of this will get notified. If it is using notify all, all will get notified. So this is about notifying and second is wait for some conditions. So as I said, T2, T3, T4 and Tn were waiting for some condition variable. So let's suppose there is some condition variable C and assume that using this condition variable only T1 is running. So it is running and on this condition variable all of these are waiting. And obviously to synchronize these you have to have this common condition variable. Okay, so for some reason all these threads were waiting for this condition variable and this thread was running and it uses this condition variable to notify either of these or all of them. Okay, so these are two purpose of condition variable. You will notify and you can wait. Now that being said, let's directly jump to the program. We'll see all these come in little later. So this is the program. This is very simple program we have this balance let's suppose this is some kind of account and we have this balance okay is equal to zero and now there are two threads t1 and t2 one thread is trying to withdraw the money and another thread is trying to add the money okay and currently the balance is zero now what do you think which thread should start first and which should start second i mean logically add money should start first because if you don't have any money, you cannot withdraw it, correct? And let's suppose this start, I mean this withdraw money thread is starting first. So it will come here and it will try to acquire the lock, this mutex with this unique lock. So what it means is it is just kind of a wrapper for this mutex and owning the mutex. So this line means you are locking this mutex M here. You have successfully locked it. Now you will come here. This is condition variable dot wait. And you have to pass this unique lock object here. And there is this predicate or the condition you will check in order to go further or to wait. So that condition is, so balance is not equal to zero. Is it true? No, currently balance is zero. So it will return false. So if this predicate is returning false, then this thread will wait by releasing this mutex. So what will happen is, let's suppose this is withdraw thread. First it locked M, which is this mutex. And then it is saying that I'm waiting for this condition to be true by releasing this mutex. So this unlocking is internal inside this statement. So it will unlock and wait for this condition variable. So waiting by releasing m so this is first and this is second and as this is started first it will acquire the lock first and it would have done all these things but parallelly this thread was also started and this is using lock guard 
you can use this unique lock here not a problem but in, but i didn't find any use of this unique lock here so i just went for lock now the point is this will also try to lock this mutex but as i said this will lock the mutex and do all these things so it would have gone in the waiting state for this particular mutex and as this thread 2 release this mutex this will acquire the mutex will add this money which is 500 inside the balance and it will say that okay amount added and current balance is 500 and after adding the balance see this is very important point it is saying that whoever is waiting for this condition variable i want to notify them and i'm using notify one because only one thread is waiting notify one will get executed and, and this thread will awake so after awaking this is the process it will try to lock the mutex if it is succeeded it will check this condition if this is true so yeah this is true because we have changed the balance so balance is not zero now it is going to return true and if it is returning true it will go further okay then it will go for if balance is greater than or equal to money and all that stuff so first step is it will try to lock the mutex second is it will check the condition and what if it is awake i mean you notified it without changing the balance it will again check okay yeah balance is not equal to zero it will again start waiting on this condition variable okay so it is not going to go further until unless this balance is not zero so this is very simple i'll quickly recap it i assumed this withdraw money thread will start first so it will go here and it will acquire the lock it will go here we have condition variable dot wait and we have to pass this ul which is this unique lock so that it can unlock this mutex while it is waiting for this condition variable okay and we have this predicate and we'll check whether we should go further because we have this condition to go further okay that's why we are using this condition variable there is no point in deducting the money if you have zero in your account correct so it will wait because currently you have zero in your balance so it locked the mutex first step second weighted by releasing the mutex m so this weight will release the mutex which is acquired by this ul here okay and as soon as you release the mutex this one was waiting for this mutex so it will get the mutex and it will add the money what it got from here okay and it will notify this thread now which is waiting on this condition variable so see this cv and cv has to be similar so as this one will notify it this thread will try to acquire the lock okay it will get the lock and then it will again check whether i should wait because maybe the balance is still zero so it will check whether this condition is true and this time it happened to be true then it will go and do the job so that was the first case let's suppose this one started first then it will acquire the lock it will add the balance and by that time this withdraw money is waiting for this lock because this mutex is already locked here okay so this thread is already waiting here only okay this is waiting here only and this has executed and done everything now we don't need this condition variable notify one because we have not waited on this condition variable we could not reach to this place what is happening in this case this is very simple once you have done this you are notifying one but this call is totally waste because no one is waiting for this condition variable right now because this thread could not go further after this okay it is waiting at this line only okay but it will work correct because after completing this this function or this thread will go off then in that case this log guard will call the destructor and there this mutex will be released so once this mutex is released and this was waiting for this mutex then it will start and it will check whether condition variable is satisfying or not so this balance was updated you don't have to wait here it will return true and then you will do the job so let's see i mean the, let's run and see the behavior of this and then we'll come conclude it i'll compile this compile successfully if i'll execute it see it is saying that amount added and current balance is 500 and this statement is coming from thread number one sorry thread number two so this started first let me 
give some weight here so as you can see i have written this waiting statement here so what this will do it will call this thread and this main thread will sleep so what i'm telling you is you can start this thread first i don't bother because i have this condition variable and it will obviously wait for this condition variable just to prove that i am writing this sleep here okay so let's compile this again and execute this see it is waiting for two seconds and then also it did the same thing this thread added the money first even though this one was started first so this is actually going and waiting because this balance is zero okay in this case so let me just remove this this is perfect now what if you want to deduct more than 500 let's suppose you want to withdraw 600 but you have only 500 in your account then if you compile it and execute it it is saying that amount added current balance is 500 so again this will add the amount first and it will notify to this one and it is saying that amount can't be deducted current balance is less than 600 and it is saying that current balance is 500 now so it didn't actually deducted the amount but that is not the point the point is whatever you do your ad money will always start first so this is also very good way to utilize this condition variable if you want to start some thread first but you are writing both the threads or all the threads at the same place so it can start i mean your os can start any of the thread at any time but you want some thread to start first then you can use these condition variables to actually run some thread before other threads so let's quickly go through these comments condition variables allow running threads to wait on some conditions and once those conditions are met the waiting thread is notified using notify one or notify all and that's what you did here correct you notified then Second point is you need mutex to use the condition variable. Obviously, it will use this particular mutex to actually wait on. Okay. And the mutex release is automatic inside this. Don't forget that. Third point is if some thread wants to wait on some condition variable, then it has to do these things. So these are the step A, B, C. If you want to wait on some condition variable, you have to do all these. One is acquire the mutex lock using std unique or whatever object you want to write but you have to acquire the lock second is execute the wait wait for or wait until there are three flavors for this you can go and check that there are no much difference for these things they are just for time constrained okay our main focus is on this one wait so we'll say that we'll execute wait and the wait operation automatically releases the mutex and suspend the execution of the thread if that condition is not true and the third is when the condition variable is notified the thread is awakened and the mutex is automatically reacquired and the next thing is the thread should then check the condition and resume waiting if the wake up was spurious and what i mean is after locking you can again check whether this condition is meeting or not if it is not meeting you will again go for sleeping because this notification can be spurious and uh, what i mean by spurious is uh, for now you just understand that the false wake okay someone did this by mistake you just understand like this someone notified you by mistake even if this condition is not met i mean this balance is still zero but someone notified you so you will again wake up and check whether this balance is zero if it is zero you will again sleep now the take home is condition variables are used to synchronize two or more threads yes you can synchronize threads using condition variable by saying okay now you do the job now i'll do the job okay things like that okay you can notify from one thread to another thread which is actually sleeping on some condition and the best use case of condition variable is producer consumer problem and this i will explain in next video so go ahead and watch that video and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next videos bye bye don't forget to hit the like button it will help me a lot see you bye bye